welcome to my channel the style i'm doing today is specially for you if you haven't yet subscribed please do and let's start this is a middle pattern i'm taking some air out from the side and i'm moving to the other side uh, taking another section out use my clip At the back, I'm using elastic band. I'm doing a tiny ponytail. Don't make it too tight. So I'm going to take some air extension. I'm hiding it to the back because the hair is a bit thin. For this hair, you need full hair. This hair is not full enough. So just put some air extension. Just watch what I'm doing. Wrap it around the hair. Don't make it too tight. Or you don't want to rip off your hair. I'm just going to tease the hair for volume you can see what i'm doing this is a fast motion i'm actually tapping the hair with a comb just tap 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 just to give it volume I'm rolling it up to create a padding at the back. I will be using some air spray and pin to secure it in place. I'm just teasing the hair now. I'm using the comb just to kind of slide through the back of the hair. I'm just teasing it to give me a little bit of volume on the crown. You don't need to do this if you don't want volume, but I want a bit of volume on top of this side. Comb the hair, make sure it's smooth and all the teasing, not all, some of the teasing from the top are out. Just make sure it's smooth. On top, I will be creating an illusion movement. Just watch what I'm doing. So I'm just picking up the hair with my Tom and my index finger, so just picking it off, and I'm just picking it. And uh, with time, you will get this. Just practice, and I'm using my pin to position it in place. Just continue the step, just pick it up, put some hairspray after you finish arranging it, put some pin and move to the other side as well. Do the same thing depending on how many pulls you want to have. I'll be using a close pin to just pull, gather the hair together and just just be careful so you don't mess up what you've done just pin it and it will be making a X shape I call it the X factor just to position the hair properly so I think I'm doing the other side now and just pin it make sure everything is well secured
I'm taking some of the hair from the front to the back. I'll be pulling down just to cover a bit of the ear. I'm using my open pin. Then I'll be pulling just to create some movement on the hair. And then I'll be using my spray to just give it a little bit of firm hold and keep it in place. Yeah, I'm just using a close pin to just make sure the hair is secured in place and I, so that it doesn't move around while we are doing the back of the hair. I'm just teasing the front for just a little bit of lift and volume. Use a little bit of light or spray. Just tease a little bit. I know some of my subscribers will be thinking this style is for Caucasian hair. I think this is a beautiful style. Anyone can wear it, white, black. It's just hair. You can use it on a wig. Also use it on a, on, on a lace front wig as well and on a weave. I've done it for someone on a wig, so it doesn't really matter. I think it's a beautiful style. I'm just pinning the front to the back, just repeating the step I did on the other side just pull just a little bit just try and make sure you use, you check if both of the hair are the same use your pin the s factor method again secure it in place I'm just going to put the hairband here before I move the remaining of the hair from the front just to cover the uh, band showing too much. I'll be using some air spray just trying to take all the flyaway out so I'm just making sure the hair is shiny. So I'll be moving it to the back just kind of twist it around and I'll be pulling the top of the hair. Make sure this goes with the client face shape. Just check. I'm just using the comb to guide me and I'm using my finger just make sure it's flat and I'm happy with the way it's going. I'll be using some spray, spray from the bottom, then I'll use my finger to just twist around the hair. So I'm popping the stick on top just to push it down and then just use your finger just use your finger at this place you, you're not you don't need to rush too much you need time to do this place just use your finger and just make sure you are happy with the way the hair looks sorry about my voice i've been editing all night so my voice is a bit sore and if you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel I've just repeated the same step, so just pull a little bit, just arrange it with your finger, use the comb just to make sure everything is nice and twist and use your open pin to just hold the back while you pull. So that normally helps so it's not too stiff while you're pulling. So make sure you're happy and uh, the same thing, just mirror image. This part is better to look at the client while you're doing it. Or look at the client face through the mirror I'm just teasing here I'm going to make a padding just watch and see what I'm doing I'm just tapping light tap it's just a light tap it's very easy to come out when you're through
I'm just going to pin the hair down with my open pin. You can use any pin. Pinning it down, make sure it's secure, and then I will be using some hairspray. Take some hair out from the back and just pull it down with what I'm doing now. Just watch, just pull it with your tip of your finger and use the stick to just position it on the padding we've done. Just come and on the top, it's like we are making an S shape. So it's going to be going like a S shape. Just make sure it's kind of going in a S shape. So you pin, you can use a stick, you can use the pin. So I'm just using anyone that is close to me. So just make sure that it's just arranged it. So make sure you're, I'm arranging it and so that it has a little bit of movement. So I'm pulling the back down. I'm going to use a pin to pin this part into the padding. Just keep on arranging and just look at it. You have to visualize to see what looks good. So I'm just going to pop some pin on that. Just repeat the step, just pull down, pull down, we are going up, so kind of to like a head shape so that it will be on top of the other one. Just cover where you put the pin the first time and I'm popping this at the bottom just kind of to hold, help guide the hair while I'm pulling this. Repeat the same thing to the other side. So I'm just pulling down. Then I'm going to pull up. So I'm going to use my stick or a pin. So just watch what I'm doing and then carry on from there. You can see that place I ran out of hair, so you need a mannequin or someone with a, a lot of hair or you have extra hair just in case you need it. I just kind of cover it up. I'm just taking the stick out of the hair. I'm trying to just fix it while I'm doing that. I'm using the pin to just kind of put it in. Just push the pin in inside so that the hair stay put. Comment down below if you like the style because your comment motivates me. And don't forget to subscribe.